Before this incarnation of life, I was a, I was a high school teacher for a long time. And I want to sing you a song about high school. Um, all you have to know is at the end of the first verse, there's an actual quote from an actual teacher about an actual student. And when she said it, I thought it was the coldest thing someone had ever said about another human being. So I had to put it in the song. And also, can I, can I get a big fat yay on three? It just makes you feel good to scream it. OK, so on three, we're all going to go, yay! Ready? One, two, three! Yay! Perfect. That's the chorus to this song. All right, so this guy here. Thanks for having me, guys. Help me get my first performance in front of a crowd of people that I didn't know. He was my English 101 teacher back when I was a senior in high school. False start, it breaks my heart in a thousand little places to watch educators lower their fickle expectations. I don't want to paint all teachers in a negative light. I taught for eight years, I gave it my life. One of the most awkward parts of teaching is giving a test after half of the class finishes. Then it's basically nap time for the kids who didn't sleep last night. And it's I don't know how to act right for the kids who can't sit still, and that's fine. But overheard in the teacher's lounge last week, he was as cute as a puppy dog. But you can't teach a puppy to read. Mr. Brown. Student in F. What have I taught if the kid I caught cheating on my final exam is already failing and I fail him again? When he drops out, if he goes to jail, we both get to say, I told you so. But who failed whom? Did he fail the test or did I fail him? Sometimes y'all I get a handful of amped up pupils who would love to be made examples of. And truthfully, I'm in a mood to prove myself the alpha above the bully. But then I lose my temper and I say, Nobody believes your excuses but you. So if you really hate school, why not try to pass this class before you have to repeat the 10th grade again? And as soon as those words accidentally slip, I can immediately see the damage they did. So I'm sorry, kid. Here's your grade. It's a cinder block tied to the ankle of your GPA. Hopefully next semester we both do better. We receive the grades we earn. So here, the F that I deserve. There you go. Good job, guys. That's what's up.